Mint Studio has a variety of cropping tools to help when working with images. This allows you to remove all or part of unnecessary backgrounds or lets you quickly break an image apart that can't be ungrouped. Open the Crop panel by clicking on this icon on the top of the screen. You'll see preset crop templates, a selection of knife crop tools, magnet trace, and an option to apply the selected shape as a crop template. First, we'll look at the crop templates. Any of these shapes will crop the image on your design page to the template you select. I've opened a pattern from my library, so now I'll select this heart template to crop the pattern to a heart shape. To keep the most control, I'll deselect the option to auto apply. Now I can draw, resize, and reposition the heart, and when I'm ready to crop, I'll make sure the heart is selected and choose the option on the bottom to Apply Selected Shape as Crop Template. Set the stamp size to square and choose Fit to Stamp. In filters, I need to reduce the brightness quite a bit to pick up the right amount of detail. I'll see what Invert looks like, and I think that looks even better, so it's ready to be sent to the mint. All of these crop templates work the same. If you have the box checked to Auto Apply, the crop will occur as soon as you release your mouse. If you uncheck the box for Auto Apply, you have more adjustment options, like changing the curve of the rounded rectangle's corners or changing the angles of the diamond. Hold your Shift key while dragging to get a perfect square. Note that you're not limited to these specific crop tools in the Crop panel. You can draw a shape with your drawing tools, turn it to Outline mode, and use that selected shape as a cropping shape as well. Let's move on to the knife crop tools, which behave the same way as the knife tools in Silhouette Studio. Again, I recommend unchecking the box for Auto Apply so you can fine-tune your crop line before committing. You can use these knife crop tools on images or vector shapes to cut them apart. Choose between Straight, Poly, Curve, and Freehand. Straight and freehand are used by dragging your mouse. Curve and poly let you set points with your mouse as you move it across the area, and you can see one leaves curves and one leaves sharp points. To end the line, either return back to the starting point or double-click to end. You can choose the best cropping tool for your particular design. Finally, let's move on to Magnet Trace in the Crop panel. This feature helps crop your image around curved and uneven lines. Start at the edge of the image you want to crop. Click once to create an initial starting point, then guide the magnet along the edge of the image. You don't need to hold your mouse button down as you drag. Just click at intermittent points to keep the magnet on the right path. Clicking multiple points closer together will give a more precise crop around the area you want. Adjust the magnet size by adjusting it with the slider or arrows here. You can also use your mouse scroll wheel to adjust the magnet size while your trace is still in progress. The smaller size is good in curves, corners, and detailed areas. The larger magnet is better for areas with more straight lines and for placing points far apart on long flat surfaces. Once your crop is applied, the rest of the image disappears but it's not actually gone. If you need to fine-tune those points, you can do so with point editing. Double-click to enter point editing, ungroup first if necessary, and you can drag or change the curve on any of those points to reposition how closely it fits your intended image. Now we have a clean shape ready for text and filters. That's how to use the crop tools in Mint Studio. Thanks for watching.